Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Oh, we have a special one tonight because we're going to that ship out there in the name of the prince to check out the Elizabeth Dane and see if Grandpa Munster awaits in the Ankaran sarcophagus. For if he does, the entire world may just end. But before we do all that, we have a familiar face here. I say you preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. Oh, and I will definitely be doing that. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. One hope so. I might need some equipment for this little trip. Mm, all he's got is shotgun shells right now, but we can sell this a knife. Uh, probably get rid of this shoddy. I don't need it. Anything else we can sell? We can get rid of this car stereo. Thanks for the ride, Mercurio. I have things I need to do. Hi. How did it go with E? This life's been hard on him both of us but he forgives me we're leaving soon i have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in oregon it should be okay for us to stay out there as long as we're together good luck to both of you bye lily yeah you'll need it you'll need it what about you I know what i'm saying forget what i say can you tell me my fortune if you don't want to talk fine goodbye yeah you can pay her to hear your fortune, but trust me, it's not really worth listening to. Let's do this. How do I... How... How do I... How do I get in? Oh my god, I don't remember how to get in. Do I gotta talk to Mercurio? See you, Mercurio. Uh, game. Game. Let me on the boat. Let me on the boat. Ah, okay. All right, cool. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to edit and be like, did it bug out? But no, here we are. Yo, Pally. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. He didn't tell me this was a formal affair. Jeez, what kind of woods team don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something? I mean, didn't you ever see Fletch? What, are they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? Something like that. But enough, we need to do this fast so we don't want to get caught. All right, Brooke, I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin, but you got to make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, brainchild. Where do I go? Hold up a sec. Heinz to Marsh. Heinz to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Got it. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Understood, friendo. Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Got it. Got it all. Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. Okay. Got it. Quick saved. 
Heinz to Jacobson. Uh, Anderson. Heinz to Anderson. Come in, Anderson. Yeah? Come check this out. I just saw a baleen whale. Hmm. On my way. Ooh, now the security room should be clear. We go this way. Now, uh, you can do this combat heavy, but it is a very terrible idea to do so. God, the door does not work properly. And importantly, uh, if you're a stealth clan who can easily get to the Ankaran sarcophagus itself, you don't need to go, go this way. But I, unfortunately, am a blow your brains up out through your nostrils type clan. So I really can't do all that much. Please be empty. Awesome. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now we get in. Log. Ah, oh, hell. Okay, log. Lighthouse. Password is required. Password failed or damn it. Reports. Uh, weather. Status. And then we go to control. Wonder if I can just hack it anyway. Yeah, I can, buddy. Yeah, I can. Uh, deck cams on. Deck security enabled. Unlock records. Records room unlocked. I don't want to start the horn. And car and sarcophagus. Looks like it ripped a hole straight through a shipping container. Whatever the hell that means. Uh, reports. Uh, oh, okay. Wait, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Did we get everything we needed? Um, that guy gave me the initial report. Is that everything we needed? Uh, we need the cargo manifest. That will be a little bit harder to get. I don't quite know where the uh, records room is, but I know it's somewhere nearby. Mm -mm -mm. This is going to be a hard one. Oh, there's a man there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's the records room. Okay, I should have it unlocked. Shit manifest. Let's make ourselves scarce like the man suggested. Like I said, we can sneak through the entire ship to the other side and uh, maybe come away with the Ankaran sarcophagus info that way. We would need to get, get a good look at it, but there's no point in doing that right now. Guys over there. You won't see a thing. Not a single thing, and neither will this guy. Who, baby. Yep, the Elizabeth Dane. Looks like it had ripped its way straight out of the um, uh, shipping container, which is kind of terrifying in its own right. Should we get all the way up to Thaumaturgy level 5? I think we will. Yeah, I think we will. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope we don't get fall damage for that. That'd be really, really silly. Oh, baby. No need to worry about a thing. Uh, let's get our computer up, I think, actually. Get our hacking all the way up to six, because we would have needed it there. But we weren't able to do it. Now that our hacking is six, there's all kinds of things we can look up. All kinds of things we can know. Oh, yeah. Tradition. Clan Bruja, largely composed of rebels, both with and without causes. Individualistic, outspoken, and turbulent. That isn't the Bruja to a T. I don't know what else is. I love Vampire the Masquerade. I've played uh, V5. I've played 20th Anniversary Edition. Um, I've DM'd quite a few times now. I'm running two campaigns right now, actually. And um, Bruja are up there for me. I think my favorite clans are the Sombra and Toriador. I think those are my two favorites. But we're not quite uh ready i mean we can't play the sombra in this one and uh toriador is fun but not quite what i'm going for right now toriador is a lot of fun though now we can go all the way back 
Where are you heading? Need a ride? Need a ride? Just drive. Back downtown. Nobody died. Nobody even knew I was there. Except this one guy who's gonna be like, Jameson, what the fuck? Oh, hell, you look familiar. Hey, uh, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? No. It's hard to do these nights. You look much better. I'm glad. Only because of you. What you did for me. Here. I... I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Of course, Heather. Heather. Heather? Heather. I would love for you to stay with me. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise. I'll get you money. I'll get you things. Everything. I don't want to be... Important to you. Wait for me at my place. I can't have you following me around. It's dangerous. Uh, I know where you live. I checked there first. <laughs> of course you know where I live. <laughs> Crazy stalker lady. When you come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. My dear Heather, whatever did I do without you? I'll see you later. Ah, uh, she's been ghouled. The blood has uh, empowered her, but also made her effectively fall in love with me. As my ghoul, um, she doesn't age. She gains uh, a little bit of vampiric power, just like um, uh, the Bloodhound and um, Mercurio, both of whom get a little bit of the blood and get a little bit of the power. Hey, Chief, you back to see Mr. LaCroix again? You know it, Chunk. Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little different, though. You wonder if he's... Ah, that's his business. How's it going, Chunk? Ah, you know, I'm keeping the undesirables out and the innocent safe and secure. I'm the thin... Oh, uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. ...hard-working, decent folks. Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. I'm sure that's exactly why he's safe and totally not an army of vampires keeping him safe. Thanks for the help, Chunk. You're, uh, <laughs> making the... Security community proud with your uh, long hours of service. That's someone who's security for four years. Yeah, <laughs> it's about how useful. I need to for now. Whoa, Strauss! What the hell happened to your suit? You all right there, pal? I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. Every crewman on board was massacred. There weren't any survivors. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? There was blood all over the floor. Handprints indicated it was open from within. Open? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in... The parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. That's one way to put it. Who were they? Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. Each minor problem like a grain of sand, each night I inherit the desert. The Sabbat's appearance has put the Primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. A house call? Certainly, is that all? <laughs> yeah. Yes, for the moment. You know, your demeanor thus far bears similar characteristics to those that rise to the top of this organization. Stay that course. Thank you, sir. Now about Grout. Yes, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. 
He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. I have a few questions to ask before I go. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Never mind, I'm ready to go see Grout. I think yes. I've already got... Uh... Oh, that guy's standing behind you. He's my sheriff. When there is a problem that words are wasted on, I send him. The less one sees of him, the better. Questions about yes. someone else. The primogen. They are the representatives of their clans, though more often than not, they represent their own best interests. They stay close to power, but are too fearful of the consequences to wield it. Nonetheless, I seek their counsel on occasion. It's a good idea. Something else. Which is... Never mind, I'm ready to go you see Grout. Grout. You may come back. Until then. Yes, sir. Whiny piece of shit. <laughs> but I'm just a fledgling in a world full of elders, so what can I do? Before we do that, let's go. I wonder if Strauss has anything to say about the situation. Grout's home is going to be a whole thing, trust me. If uh, there were dungeons in this game, that is a dungeon. It has a lot. Let's also go see the confession, see if uh, Venus has any extra money for us. Um, we can also go talk to Mercurio. I think that's actually a pretty good idea. In fact, go see Mercurio. Try and get a little bit more information, a little bit more lore. A little bit more delicious. Ooh, lore. Mm, lore. Ooh, it's delicious. Anyway, get the fuck out of my way. Money, right? Money, right? Cut right here. Ooh, thank you, Venus. Keep it coming. $125. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh. Clan Bruja. Some perceive the Bruja as nothing more than punks and miscreants. Uh, the truth of the matter lies a little closer to genuine passion than that. Although there's more than a few Bruja who are just thugs. Mm -mm -mm. What up, Fat Larry? Being fat? Nice. I love Fat Larry. Cause I'm, no, I got a weight problem, but I just don't give a fuck. Excuse me, lady. Excuse me why, I just, uh, you know, had to get myself a little bit of blood. Don't worry about it. Ugh, not today. Ugh, shut the hell up. I will drain you dry and not in a way you would find comfortable or pleasant. Mm-mm-mm. Let us see if Strauss has anything to add. I saw him at the meeting, after all. Hello, you have a few minutes oh, to talk with me? A few questions for you. Like to know? Hmm, what do you know about the Uncar and Sarcophagus? No more than yourself. But I do know that LaCroix is much too focused on acquiring it. His obvious need for it reveals a weakness that his enemies may one day exploit. What do you think is inside of it? I do not know, although I must admit that I sense a change in the night air, something subtle and not altogether... <clears throat> Excuse me. Perhaps the arrival of the sarcophagus is the harbinger of something more dreadful. Hmm, like what? I will say no more. I'm out of here. Interesting. A harbinger of what, one wonders. I think he is a firm believer in Gehenna. A lot of vampires, whether they want to admit it or not, believe in Gehenna. And uh, our friend there, he may just believe. It's hard not to. When the supernatural is all around you, it's hard not to believe in a supernatural end of the world. Yes, indeed. There's that same woman. But I don't need any more blood. Instead, let's go to Grout's Manor. Or no, let's go talk to Mercurio, and then we'll go to Grout's Manor. Hop in. Hop in. Grout's Mansion. The cage of our clanless vampires, outcast by other kindred, and despised by those who bother to notice them at all. That's also very, very true. The caitiff, um either didn't... Um, didn't inherit their clan's traits or never knew their clan at all. <laughs> they are mutts, as it were, to the other vampires. And it's not a great place to be. 
in the tabletop, they have some interesting bonuses, but also some interesting deficits, penalties, if you were, as you were, if, if, if you would, whatever. <laughs> I, I don't know. I really screwed up my words there. Hmm, Mercurio will have some interesting info. We can eventually get some really good shit from him, too. Hey, you, hey, what can I say? You preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we already talked to him a little bit. I need some info. People. Who exactly? Yourself. What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. I could say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well... Back east, some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, I got that. I had some questions about that? other people. Prince the Croy. Only seen him a few times. The way I understand it, the guy's untouchable. And I've never seen him without his muscle. That sheriff. Just so you understand, my loyalties are all but written in blood. So my opinion of the guy is moot. Hmm. I need a, qu I had a question about that? somebody else. The Sabbat. Your typical bloodthirsty movie villain variety vampire. A few years back, I was on bodyguard duty for one of the old boys. Me, a couple of ghouls, and some young vampire types like you. The Sabbat hit us. Tried to pull a dine and dash. Just two of us walked away. And one was the elder. Shit. Questions about something else. Concerning? Places. Specifically? Santa Monica. Santa Monica's quiet, mostly. That is, till you came to town. Not a lot of operators of police here, which is why I like it. Not a beast. <clears throat> Excuse me. But there are some beautiful sunsets. I guess you wouldn't be interested in that, though, would you? <laughs> no. Comes with questions about other places. Downtown. Downtown's a mess. Always has been. I get called down there sometimes. Nines is people, LaCroix's people, a lot of tension in the air. A lot of drugs and a lot of crime. Sometimes I offload extra inventory, but I avoid downtown when I can. Hmm. Tell me about some other things. Concerning? Weapons. Specifically? Sniper rifle. Not easy, even in this country. Military grade sniper rifle with 50 caliber ammo can take a man apart at quite a distance. Makes the Secret Service nervous. I can, however, get my hands on a SWAT rifle. Give me some time. Ooh. Specifically? What about combat what shotgun? Is a Spaz 15. I got a connection for those, but I haven't seen him in a while. I think he's in Mexico. As soon as he gets back, I'll have a few of them. Putting together a dragon's breath, too. Sort of. Spits WP rounds. A few nights' work. Mmm. And other weapons? Flamethrower. Oh, yeah, I got a lot of requests for those. I blend the movies. Everybody thinks they're a riot till they set their friends on fire. They're not very easy to get hold of. I got a Vegas connection for those. Last time I was out there... I had to shoot my way to the state line. Shit. What about a damn tactical nuke? Only a lunatic would want that kind of ordinance. That's why they got him in Washington. Alright, question about something else. Uh, people. Alright, that's all for right now, Mercurio. Yeah, show me the equipment. Just some shotgun shells right now. Let's uh, sell them all that stuff. I had to... Uh, Reset the game at one point, so we'll sell that. And now, let's go to Grout's Mansion. We're not going to do Grout's Mansion tonight. We're going to do that next time. But, we got ourselves a nice little uh, showing of the Elizabeth Dane. If I was a sneaky clan, I would have gone all the way across and looked at the Incarn Sarcophagus myself. But we'll have to deal with just the uh, camera work. Mm-mm-mm. Is there anything else I needed to do downtown while I'm here? I don't think so. Or not downtown, Santa Monica while I'm here. I don't think so. I don't think I need any more blood. No, I'm good on blood. Got some stuff to offload. I should have sold while I was thinking about it, but I didn't. That's fine. Ooh, baby. Let me see here. We need to go to Grout's Mansion, and it is a hell of a place. It is an interesting, interesting place. Grout is obviously a wealthy man. But what's this? You. What are you doing here? Nines? What's up? 
out now. What? You looking at Grout's disappearance too? You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. But why? What's inside? Nines? The hell? The hell was that about? Well, that's a mansion. Looks like a freaking Winchester mystery house, more like. Yeah, it just might be. Oh yeah, let's see what's happening inside. Oh shit, okay, hello. This is what's happening inside. You tried to cut me to pieces, I'm going to drain you dry. Nothing personnel, kid. Right. Welcome everyone to Grout's Mansion. I will see you next time. This has been Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines.